911 dispatchers fielded a flurry of calls Friday when a semi truck crashed over the Second Street Bridge. WDRB's Lindsay Allen has been listening to the emergency calls from drivers in shock at what they were seeing. Yeah, and Fallon, by now it almost feels like what happened on Friday was come some kind of scene from a movie. We know the story, the heroes, the happy ending, and of course we've seen that dramatic rescue. But imagine seeing the crash and that truck hanging there before any emergency responders had arrived. Well, that's the perspective from more than a dozen callers. Two trucks just got into an accident and a semi-tractor trailer is hanging over the bridge. Like we need people right now. Jesus, okay. When you say it slipped over the bridge, like it's hanging off the bridge? Yes, it's literally hanging off the bridge. Okay, are they still inside? Yes, okay. she's still inside the truck. So she cannot get out of the truck. The, she's in the cab that's the driver can't, the water. She cannot in the cab that's hanging over the water. Yeah, ma yes, ma'am, she's over the bridge. The cab is hanging over the river. So Metro EMS released 13 calls in total. None of those calls are from the truck driver herself. The chain reaction crash involved four vehicles sending the semi truck through the safety barriers. What exactly happened is still being investigated, but officials have said the semi driver did not cause the initial impact. The driver, whose name still has not been released, was trapped inside the cab, dangling over the river for 45 minutes before firefighters eventually rappelled down and pulled her up to safety. She was not hurt and was released from the hospital after a brief visit on Friday. Several people from the other cars involved were seriously hurt, we were told. After the crash, KYTC officials inspected the bridge top to bottom. It reopened a day later on Saturday. Now, one of those 911 calls was made from the driver's employer. That was Cisco Foods. So we'll play a little bit of that for you coming up tonight at 11. And seeing that video is just unbelievable. So I can't even imagine being one of those people on the bridge right. calling 911. Witnessing it. Right. Yeah. Thank you, Lindsay.